Brothers and sisters, welcome to the Nelson Super Bash Bros E3 coverage for 2019. Hans, the most wondrous time of the year is almost upon us again. Pre-3! Yes, pre-3 2019. I'm pumped. I'm excited. I, I'm always ready for a good pre Pre-drinks, pre-mature we- ejaculation, all the pre's. Don't the need best. to explain the joke, sense. <laughs> we are two weeks out from the first press conference of E3 2019. So, much like last year, we are going to run through what happened at E3 2018, discuss the state of all the games announced and teased, and Hans and I will give our general predictions for what we think might happen or might be announced this year. Are you ready? Yes. That's, I am. Why did you do I don't even want to know why you had to think about that. <laughs> Premature ejaculation. Kicking us off, Hans. Yep. E.A. What? No. E.A. Oh, sorry. Yes, okay. What? <laughs> Nothing. What did you get confused about? I was like, they're not doing a conference this year. <laughs> yeah, correct. But I'm still going to run through it. They did one last year. Okay, right. Yeah. So as Hans, but yes, EA are not doing a traditional press conference media briefing slash thing this year. They said they will be doing live streams for certain games, and they've already come out and announced that um, like Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order will be one of those games. Uh, but no, like, official people on stage chatting about shite. But, Hans, that didn't stop them last year. No. Nope. People came out and talked some shite. Yes, they did. About Battlefield V, for example. It came out. Was it V or was it 5? I'm, I'm sticking with V. Okay. It came out in November, as as announced. It's it finally got its Battle Royale mode March, just there past. Even though, <laughs> I can't believe it took them that long. Yeah, I can't believe it took them like five months. <laughs> it was kind of, yeah. The whole selling point of your game as well. Yep. Um, FIFA 19 Hunts. Yeah, it came out. It was, it's, yep, it was more FIFA. It fed, rounded off the, the journey. Mm-hmm. And as mentioned, Hans, they also announced Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order last year. Yeah, and we got a trailer for it not that long ago. Yes, it was announced to be coming out in November, and we got our first proper trailer. Uh, came out uh, last month. Starring the Joker. Yep, and obviously they said they'll do their big E3. They, they said they will have a, a, a dedicated live stream for this game as well. So that'll be interesting. That is, uh, it's probably the thing I'm most excited about at the moment. We had our first of This Is Out Right Now, Hans, with Unraveled Who. Yeah, it was a thing. I that didn't play it. It's but... still scary as fuck. <laughs> did you rewatch the episode? Yeah. I did, yes. Uh, okay. Uh, we had Sea of Solitude. Did that ever come out? No, that has literally not been talked about since last E3, and it was due wow. to be released in early 2019. That's worrying. Yes. I wonder what happened there. We had Madden NFL 19, Hans. Yeah, it came out. So I I did play Madden, what but I you? probably only played it because I had it as part of Axis Premier. Was was that was it that year or the year before had a story mode? They they, they both had story modes. Oh, did they? But funny you mentioned it, Hans, because compared to FIFA, Madden's story mode is hot garbage. <laughs> okay. So like, imagine you set the scene. You're playing a story mode about a young, a man coming back from the military and like going through this. Uh, game show to get into the NFL. He went through a game show. So this, last year, this was last year. This was 2017's game. Okay. Sorry, 20, Madden 18. Okay. So he was like, oh, he used to be a good college footballer. Then he went into the Marines and then he left the Marines. And he's now there. They've created this like documentary slash game show type thing around him uh, about how like he's trying to get back into the NFL. Mm-hmm. And then imagine your sequel to that story mode focuses on his best friend who's trying to be a country singer. Wait. Yes. Exactly. Oh, how does that tie in the football? Exactly, Hans. The amount of hoops they have to jump through to tie it back into football. That's ridiculous. Yes. I agree. We need, we need to move on before my, yep. my head explodes. Hans, we had Anthem to round out EA's media briefing. I don't think we need to talk anymore about that game. So, I, I disagree. <sighs> So it did come out in February, it was not delayed. 
So <laughs> good, good friends. <laughs> uh, it was widely critiqued for its uh, lack, lack of content, of stuff, poor yeah. execution. Uh, the entirety of the post-launch content since the release has been delayed as the team tries to salvage the core game mechanics. And reports have since came out since Anthem was released that apparently it and Bioware at large is like in a real bad state at the minute. See if Anthem and like even putting like the next Dragon Age game at risk. That's what I was about to say. See if Anthem fucking kills my Dragon Age. I'm gonna be really pissed. Like yeah. really pissed. That like that is a fucking joke. And Bioware should have never. Oh, God, that is, why, oh, they, they had such a good thing going, and they had their thing, they had their their bread and butter with Mass Effect, you know, like the first three, and then just, how can you go from doing something so well to fucking everything up? God knows, Hans. God knows. Burn in hell, Anthem. Like, burn in hell. Microsoft, Sunday, 9th of June, 9pm, our British time. Wait, what do you want me to say? What are you uh, waiting I for? There's going to be a response there. The, I don't know. What do you want me to say? That's a fact. There's nothing to <laughs> comment on Last that. Last year, Hans. Let's run through it, because there was a lot of games. Mm-hmm. Halo Infinite. Hey, the, we, we got a CG trailer, and that yep. was it. And literally no word has been spoken of it since last year. Ori and the Will of the Wisp. That hasn't come out yet. Also, no word since last year. Still due out this year, though. Is it? Okay. Yes. Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice. Came out, and you enjoyed Just it? Just came out, yep. Very well received. People loved it. Fuck that have you snake. Pla- how, how, have you played much further yet? Oh, yeah, yeah. Have you completed it? No, oh, no. God, no. <laughs> uh, fuck that snake, so. Hans, Fallout 76. <laughs> I don't want to talk about this. I don't This is the game I don't want to talk about. Right, yeah, move on. Life is Strange with the Awesome Adventures of Captain Spirit. So that's the sequel, yeah? Or is that the So that was one? the playable demo. That was like the weird middle demo thing. Right. So you play you played as a character who is like in Life is Strange 2. Mm-hmm. But like that child that character as a child. Uh Life is Strange 2 has started putting out episodes, I believe it's on the th- the third episode just released, I think. Uh Crackdown 3. Ha uh, I know it did come out and it, it was did come boring. Out. It was very mixed reviews. Yeah. Uh, Metro Exodus. Did come out. It did come out. Did th- didn't really like I didn't hear anything bad about it, but I didn't hear anything good about it either. It was more me- It was more Metro, very well executed, but still, again, more Metro at the end of the day. Mm. Uh, Kingdom Hearts 3. Came out and it was awesome. Yep. Uh, Forza Horizon 4. Uh, I don't know at all. It, it did come out. Um, oh, very good. It's generally, like, seen now as one of the best arcade racers. That's good. Good for it. Gotta be good at something. Uh, we Happy Few. It. Well, it was always out. Did yeah, it actually, early did, access, it, did yes. it get its final it, it, release? It is final. It was finally. It, it hit its version one in August. Because yes. it actually got a story yes. to it, didn't it? Yeah. Uh, it got mixed reviews. People said it was a cool world and premise, but the execution was Lacking. bad. Yeah. Mm. The Division 2. That came out. That was more Division. Yep. Uh, we had an indie game showcase, and none of those games, like. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if any of those games came out. They were all kind of nothing of note. Uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. It hasn't come out yet. Yes, it has. Has it? <laughs> it came okay. out in September. By any chance, was it just more Tomb Raider? Yes. Of course it fucking was. Okay. Uh, Session. Still is not Skate 4. <laughs> Didn't come out yet. Uh, no, I think it might be in early access. Maybe. Okay. I know there was a Kickstarter. Oh, God. Um... <laughs> Devil May Cry 5. Came out and you enjoyed it? It was fucking amazing. You completed that? Yep. Jump Force. It came out and was a hot mess. Yep. Uh, Dying Light 2. Hasn't come out yet. Has not even been talked about since last E3, I believe. Okay. Uh, Battle Toads. Well, it was It was always... was it. There was no date given for that, was yeah, it? It was just like a real... It was just a teaser. Yeah, it was just an announcement. Just Cause 4. Has not has come, out. come out. It has. It came out in December. Yes. Was well, it just more just cause? Yeah. <laughs> I'm seeing a pattern develop yep. here. Uh, the trio of Gears games: Gears Pop, Gears Tactics, <laughs> and Gears Five. Tactics didn't come out. None of them have come out. <laughs> I know Gears Five definitely wasn't. I thought Pop I don't would think come out. Gears Pop was come out. Man, that Gears Pop reveal was still amazing. <laughs> I still want to play that Tactics. It, yeah, that, that Tactics game still looks pretty dope. Uh, we rounded things out with Cyberpunk 2077. 
It hasn't come out yet. It has not come out. Uh, they have since done like a full gameplay reveal of it. Yes. In a couple of months after E3. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. That game looks still pretty baller. Still no date on it, but there has been rumors circulating that it will be a next-gen game. Like, it's not going to come out on this generation of consoles. I think it'll come out on both if it does. Mm, maybe. But Hans, the most important part of mm-hmm. this pre-3 predictions. Yes, next. I have three predictions. I too have three predictions. I will go first. Why? I don't know. Why not? Because I'm the host. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think they will announce the new Xbox with a name and a date. Your your prediction seems much grander than mine does. I think we will get a release date for Cyberpunk 277. Okay. My next prediction. Halo Infinite, Forza Motorsport 8, and a new Fable will be announced. That's three predictions! Well, announced as launch titles for the new Xbox. Okay, I think we'll see Halo Infinite gameplay. My final prediction is, I and this was made, I wrote this down before I learned that EA would be doing something, but I'm keeping it in the spirit of fairness, hands. Okay. I put down Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order gameplay demo. Okay. Um... <laughs> So and since we're being honest, I um I wrote this down and then realized after some research that it had already happened. <laughs> God damn it. So you could say my prediction is correct. Uh, a new IP from Platinum Games. Yeah, the, 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 this yeah, this has already happened. Yeah. In fact it happened last at last E3. Yeah, it has it also happened quite recently as well in a Nintendo Babylon, Direct. Babylon Fallen, something. Bab- Babylon's fault. They also announced another new IP out Yeah, of which is Jerry. Nintendo exclusive. Yeah. Or, yeah. <laughs> so one out of one one out of three predictions already cracked for me. Boom. <laughs> Sweet. Hans Bethesda. Monday the tenth of June at half one AM. Right. Yeah. Rage 2. It came out and I quite enjoyed it. I'm still making my way through it. I got kind of sidetracked because I'm playing Hellblade. Yep. Uh, Doom Eternal. Yeah, it was just kind of an announcement trailer. So they did an announcement trailer E3 and then they had a full gameplay reveal at At QuakeCon. Doom Guy has a sword now. Yes, I saw that. Uh, No date has been given yet, but this has been kind of floated as like the showcase game for Google Stadia. So I could see it if... I don't know if it'll get a date this time, but I do think maybe they will launch simultaneously, possibly. Mm. Uh, Wolfenstein Young Blood. Yeah, it hasn't come out yet. It has not come out. It's due out in July, and I think there was talk it has a way out type uh, buddy system, where you can if you own it, you and your friend can play it co-op. Yes, well, well see, so I heard it was similar to a way out where only one person needs to own the game. Yeah. Uh, the Elder Scrolls Bl- I'm not going through repeat games, by the way, just because I'm going to skip over Fallout 76 here. Yeah. Why not, Nick? We do have time to follow. No, I'm not going over any repeat games, like even in Square, like Square Enix. Like I only have like four games because so many other games were shut yeah. off in other conferences. Uh, the Elder Scrolls Blades. Yeah, it came out. It's in early access, I believe. Oh, um, it's kind of well liked, but people can already see that microtransactions are like crippling the game. Uh, then we have Starfield and the Elder Scrolls Six. Uh, no word since last E3, and again, there's also rumors that Starfield will be a next gen game. Uh, they probably both would be. Oh well, obviously. The Elder Scrolls 6 is going to be. But uh, there's also already talk that the Elder Scrolls 6 won't come out to like 2025. <laughs> Nick, stop trying to push your predictions on us. Well, I, I, Bridger Todd Hard came out and said it's already going to be like a mid 2020s game. <laughs> it, is, it was in pre production last year. Tans games are in pre production for a long time. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I'm just saying that's where it yeah. was, that's the state of, state of it was. Hans predictions. I have two. I have three. So I'll go first. Why? Because then it evens out, and I don't have to do two in a row. See, that's a nice way to say it. <laughs> Instead of last time, where you dick. Uh, Doom Eternal release date. I have Doom Eternal uh, stage demo or gameplay. Like, and I, uh, probably like mm. a proper stage yeah. demo. Cinematic trailer for Starfield. I have a story trailer for Starfield. So yeah, kind of a similar thing. And my final prediction, no new word on The Elder Scrolls 6. I was going to put, wouldn't even be mentioned, but I wouldn't put that past them just to bring it up again. That's all I got. Actually, yep. I, I, I'm going to make a third one. A live music performance of some sort. There, boom. And uh, Here's a fourth one. A stupid stage set up like last year too. <laughs> uh, you be soft. I'm not going to make my joke, it's okay. Yeah, please don't. Um, just Dance 2019. 
I don't know if this <sighs> came out. I just wanted to bring it up because of that panda. <laughs> I've just uh, all the drugs were taken. Yep. Think of that, like uh, Beyond Good and Evil Two. Yeah, it's fucking. Uh, it'll, that's it'll it. But at the same time, Elder Scrolls Six. Let's be yep. honest. Uh, Trials Rising. It came out and was not as well liked as the it previous Trials well, games. No, it was, well, it was more well liked than Fusion. Definitely, people mm-hmm. like were really not into Fusion. Like, I don't think it was as well liked as something like Evolution, but I do think it was. Uh, people saw it as a big step up from Trials Fusion. I thought it was just not liked. No, people liked it. Um, Skull and Bones. It was, re- was recently delayed to 2020. <laughs> right. Transference. That was the partially live action one with yes, Elijah that was the, Wood? Yes, the Elijah Wood game, yes. That, did that ever come out? I think it came out. I think so. Did you not do your research? I couldn't see a lot of it. Like, I didn't see, like, any coverage about it. Like, I saw, like, one or two videos that said, like, review. So I assume it came out. Uh, Starlink Battle for Atlas. That's the ship thing? Yes. The Toys to Life game. That's the one where the toys are ridiculously expensive or well, something? Well, this came out. Uh, it was well received, but apparently because of the poor sales of the game, they have stopped. They decided not to sell they were, like release any more of the toys. Ah, okay. And finally, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. It came out and it was good. It came out. It was very well received, despite being very uh, close release to Origins. And I think it's still... The story DLC is still coming out. I think it's done. Like, yeah, they're 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 they like two three part chat like two three part stories. I think they're halfway through the second one. Yeah, they're so they yeah they're like three stories, three chapters in each, and they're mm-hmm. on the Atlantis one at the minute, I believe. But yeah, so it's it's I played more of it than I thought I would, but they they still just need to slow down with the Assassin's Creed, in my opinion. Predictions, Hans. I have three. I also have three. You can go first. So, <laughs> this one is kind of a, not really a prediction, but more kind of a, a certainty. New Assassin's Creed. <laughs> oh, I don't have that. But I have new Watch Dogs. I have Watch Dogs 3 will be announced. I have a new Assassin's Creed, which I think is an easy one. So, I, get, I tried to guess what country it'll be set in <laughs> to make mm-hmm. it more difficult. Uh, I'm going for either China or Japan. Apparently, Vikings is heavily being rumored. Ooh, that could be a good one. Uh, um, what's your second prediction? A new Rayman game. <sighs> I have, in a similar vein, kind of, a Mario and Rabbids sequel. Uh, I don't know. It seems That seems a bit soon. It's been, only been two, three years, I think. And there's not really much in that sort of style of game you can mm. change up. I think I think the Mario and Rabbids might have been a one-off, Nick. I'm not going to lie to you. We'll see. Um, Your final prediction, Hans. Beyond Good and Evil 2, dot, 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 again. <laughs> Well, I made this prediction last year, and I'm going to make it again, Hans. Okay. New Splinters. <laughs> I I believe in you, Nick. No, I, I feel like this has been slightly scuffered because they've just announced a new Ghost Recon game. Mm. <laughs> but you never know. Square, Enix, Hans. Yep. So last year, these were swapped around because I th- believe Ubisoft have like, moved into Sony's usual spot. Okay. Now that Sony aren't doing one this year. Uh, Square Enix, Tuesday the 11th of June at 2am. Dragon Quest Eleven Echoes of an Elusive Age. Probably came out, I guess. I believe it did come out in September. Uh, it's being re-released on the Switch, I believe, with a bunch of new features, including like an 8-bit JRPG mode. That's cool. Uh, Babylon's Fall, as mentioned earlier. <laughs> Wait, it, what? that's Square Enix? Yeah. Published by Square Enix, made by... Uh, uh, developed by Platinum. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was just kind of a cinematic trailer. Yep. She a bunch of dudes in big armor. Yep. Uh, I believe this is one of two games Platinum have due out this year, between this and Astral Chain. Uh, Octopath Traveler. It came out. It did, yes. And it was, dis- to me, disappointing. Um, I love the combat, but it was far too grindy. Far, far too mm. grindy. Uh, the Quiet Man. <laughs> Did that come out? It did, and it is being called one of the worst games of all time. Is it? Yes. Wow. So, you remember the whole gimmick is, like, the dude was dead? Yes. So, like, one, they didn't commit to that gimmick all the way, so there are weird random scenes in the game where, he, like, he can hear for some reason, and, like, acts, and, like, re- and even scenes where, like, the audio is all muffled and you can't tell what's going on. Your The character reacts as if he understands people. Maybe he's reading their lips. I don't know. And then two, 
the like deafness stuff was so like critically panned. They later put out a patch that put in all the voice acting. <laughs> so the, uh, does that mean that they actually had the voice acting and took it out, or that they actually I went think and recorded so, yes. voice acting? Why would you? If you make... <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I know I said to do no, no repeat games, but I'd like to point out this is where we got the second of three Kingdom Hearts trailers over E3 last year. You know what? It fucking delivered, so more, <laughs> more, more part. It was just really funny. <laughs> uh, predictions, Hans. I have three. I have two. Okay, I will go first. Yes. Because fuck you. Final Fantasy VII Remake released it. Oh, I only have gameplay demo. I don't have released it. Like, actual, like, not just a gameplay trailer, like an actual demo. Yeah. Because it's still episodic, so I imagine they could yeah. probably, I, they better be able to release the first fucking episode by now. Like, Kingdom Hearts 2 spin off game, Kingdom Hearts 3.5. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just because, why not? Uh, I also made this prediction last year uh, Avengers game. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, they're rumored to be making that. Um, and finally, new Deus Ex. Oh, that's not a battle. Yeah, I was wondering, like, Square Enix don't have a lot this year. Like, last year they did have a fair bit going into it, especially because Kingdom Hearts 3 was really ramping up. Mm-hmm. But, like, this year I struggled to think of anything that Square Enix actually have really feasible coming out this year. Yeah, it's, just, it's a lot of a lot of, of a waiting game, I suppose, kind of mm-hmm. at this point for Square Enix. So they kinda I was tempted need... to say, like, first trailer for New Final Fantasy, but I don't see... Uh, I assume uh... Nomura is, like, dead on Final Fantasy 7 Remake. Yeah. Probably, I because like what what was, how long was it between like there was, thirteen and fifteen? Because obviously well, like thirteen and fifteen online. were in, were technically announced at the same time. Mm. Like, thir- thir- fifteen was meant to be like a thirteen spin off. Yeah, Sony Entertainment Hans. No Carl Force this year. However, yeah, there, no there sure. is the potential they will do one of their state of plays, which they've started doing quite recently. Uh, but they have, like, the two they have done so far, they've announced, like, I think about five days in advance, so probably won't hear for another week or so about that. But that didn't stop them last year, Hans. No, it did not. The Last of Us Part 2. Uh, it has not come out yet. No, it has not come out and hasn't really been talked about since uh, last E3. Again, it's one of those games that is people are kind of talking about possibly being a cross-platform thing with the PS5. Uh, Ghost of Tsushima. Hasn't come out yet. But, has not but come out. That's probably one of their most... It looks really good. Uh, Control. I don't remember that one. That is the new game from the Alan Wake people. Oh, uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Hasn't come out yet. Has not. It's due out in August. There's been so little said about it though. I am aware. Uh, Resident Evil Two remake. It's came out in February time, wasn't it? Uh, January, yes. It was very well received. Like people said, that 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 is a phenomenal game. Wouldn't be hard to improve upon the original. <laughs> let's be honest. Uh, Death Stranding. Has not come out yet. Has not come out. Uh, I don't think anyone's really talked about it since last E3. Apart from Kojima is coming out and saying, "I oh, we're slightly behind schedule." But to be fair, like the last E3 was probably the most revealing about yes, it. Yes, it was. Like we actually kind of have an idea of what the gameplay will be like. Uh, right? Yeah. At uh, Neo Two, I have written here literally nothing since announcement, but I think it was yesterday, the day before, uh, they announced an alpha starting for it. So, I don't know, that's possibly due out this year. We'll maybe hear more about it at another press conference this year. Uh, and then, finally, Spider-Man. It was awesome. It was very good, yes. It came out. And that's it. No predictions for Sony, because we don't know if really do. Do, do you have any predictions for Sony? Did you do predictions for Sony? No, I did not. No. Okay, neither did I. Uh, finally, Hans. Rounding it off last year. Nintendo. Yep. And Nintendo is on Tuesday the 11th of June at 5pm. It would be very remiss of me to say Reggie will not be there this year. Ah, uh, rest in peace. He's not dead. <laughs> <laughs> He's dead to me. He's he, no more breaking into people's houses. <laughs> I really hope that their new guy breaks into people's houses just as much as Reggie no, does. Man. Doug Bowser ain't about that. He's about kidnapping princesses. <laughs> I love that his name is Bowser. <laughs> have I mentioned that this is the best thing that's ever could, happened in the entire have... video game industry? <laughs> You couldn't write it, could you, like? Doug Bowser. Uh, Deus... Nope. Damon X Machina. Uh, that was that Met game. Uh, there was a short beta in February, but I think it's still due out this year. As I've written here, mistakenly, Pokemon Let's Go. <laughs> it came out. It was fun. Yep. It was, it was better than we were expecting, I think. Yep. Uh, Super Mario Party. 
it has come. No, it has. It did come out. Yes. Oh, okay. Yep. Came out in October. Have we not played it yet? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses hasn't come out. Has not come out. It got a bigger reveal in a Nintendo Direct this year. I think it was in February, which kind of went through a, a bigger, like, deeper dive into like the story and the gameplay mechanics. Uh, I'm still pumped for that. I'm very excited. Uh, Overcooked Two. It has come out. It came out. It came very out. Soon very, after it came that. out in August. Uh, and finally, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. It came out. And it did. I don't know how it was received, to be honest. It, it, people really liked it. Uh, that's good. Uh, predictions, Hans. I have one. You only have... I have three. Okay. I'll, do you want to go first? <laughs> okay. <laughs> My prediction is they're going to do the exact same thing they did last year with Smash, but with Pokemon, where it's going to take up mm. over half of the show. I have a similar prediction, but it's not Pokemon. It's Animal Crossing. Why the fuck are they going to spend an entire half an hour? Okay, well, 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, talking about Animal Crossing. Because people love Animal Crossing. Here's the thing, right? Pokemon. They could do what they did last year and go through all new 100 Pokemon. Uh, they never do that, though. Like, they would, they never announce, like... In the run-up to a Pokemon game, they would never, like, just dump a bunch of Pokemon like that. They always do it, like, very slowly in drips and drabs. Well, Nick, do you know what? Times change. Reggie's <laughs> not there anymore, okay? So. <laughs> Doug Bowser's running this joint now. <laughs> Bowser about to drop them all in one massive load, okay? Uh, my next prediction is the next Smash Bros. DLC will be announced. Which is... Like, the next character. Um, I don't know who it'll be, but I think they'll announce the next character to be DLC. And you I know, think you have to take a guess to who's going to be next? I don't think it'll be a Nintendo character. Okay. Like, I think it'll be something similar to Joker. But mm. I don't know who. Maybe... What if it's Waluigi? What if it actually happens? Oh, man. The would internet lose. would explode. Yeah. See, the problem is, I was going to say, like, I think I would love it to be Shovel Knight, but, mm. oh, like, but like Waluigi, Shovel Knight's already in it as a assist trophy. Yeah, I suppose, yeah. That's like, if point. he wasn't in it as a assist trophy, I'd be like, yeah, I think Shovel Knight would be a fucking dead cert. Maybe they could get another one of the knights, though, like Shield mm. Knight or something. But like then, that's not really that big a deal. Like, you'd rather have Shovel Knight in it. True. But beggars can't be choosers, Nick. Uh, my final version is, I think there'll be a Switch hardware revision. Like, I don't think it'll be like a pro or anything, maybe. Or maybe just a slightly bigger one or something, but I think there'll be a new version of the Switch announced. Yeah, maybe. Like, similar to the Nintendo usually do, like, oh, we've just, like, upgraded, like, the new 3DS or whatever shite. Yeah, 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 I'm with you. Uh, but that's it. E3 is right around the corner. I'm pumped, because there's two less press conferences to cover this year. I know, I fucking don't have to edit myself to death this time. Oh, Only half to death. <laughs> It'll be interesting. I always love Ether. I always think. Even though in recent years it has kind of diminished in its need, for lack of a better term, because companies have just kind of started doing their thing, like PlayStation doing their PlayStation experience in most years. Which I think is what they, they've come out and said they will be doing a PlayStation experience this year, in November or something. See, that's when I think they're going to announce the P- P- PS5. Yeah, that's what that, it, see, that's why I think Microsoft will do the, the all announce the Xbox now, to try and get ahead of the PS5 news. If it is announced, when do you think we're, we should be expecting it? The Xbox? Or a new console. Any if I was thinking Microsoft have massive balls on them, I would have them announce the Xbox Now at E3 and release it uh, like next March or April. But they never, they always do I know they time. always, but I think it would be a real fucking shot across the boy and like would really put so especially with sony not being able to like quickly counter it at e3 and like change mm. plans to kind of at least get the ps5 out there for a while i think it would be a real fucking big ball like, be the equivalent of phil spencer just getting up there and whipping his balls out on stage <laughs> being like yep it's here's the here's the new xbox it's coming out in april i don't did not want that mental <laughs> <laughs> jesus but yes join us as e3 kicks off in two weeks from today uh, the weekend beginning probably the 8th of June. You say two weeks from today. Yes, two days. This, this episode yeah. could be going up like the day before now. Two weeks as of recording. Um, day of recording. Yes, the plan is similar to last year where hopefully uh, each review will go up the day after the conference. I'm pumped. God willing. So, it's for now. It is a goodbye from Hans. Have a good one. A goodbye from me. E3 on. This is like the sequel to last year, so it's E4. Let's bash ass, Nick. Let's bash on the ass.
<laughs> we could not open up every episode like that. <laughs> It's a terrible idea. It's a great idea. No. I, I think you're being a fucking funny <laughs> nutty about this. We're a negative Nancy, am I? This when I like... open up Game Club tomorrow with Let's Bash on the Ass. <laughs> Alex and I are going to be like, what the fuck is going on? Just two buff dudes just flexing. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, you stop recording? I'm still recording. I'm still recording. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stop now. <laughs>